Hey, what's happening everybody? All my pizza holics out there. It's raining out here in New York City and it has been for quite some time. It's not only raining, but it's cold. I put aside some days off. The holiday jammed me up, so I didn't get a chance to get out there and do a review. And so I thought I'd ask Ellie, kid, for some of you who uh, have been following this channel for quite some time. You guys know who Cali Kid is. I had Cali Kid send me some footage of a review, a pizza review that he did in San Diego where he resides. Uh, uh, if you don't know who Cali Kid is, uh, check out some of my older videos, my Grimaldi's review and... Uh, what else was he in? Uh, he did. Uh, he, he was at Best Pizza with me. He did a few videos with me. He has since left the rugged lands of Shaolin, a.k.a. Staten Island, and has moved to San Diego. And his favorite pizza, his highest rated pizza, happens to be in San Diego. So stay tuned. Buckle up. Lean back in that chair. Grab your beverage of choice. Grab your snacks of choice. In my case, some cheese, some hot sopressata, some olive oil, and some... Bella Mia uh, crackers, Italian imported crackers, really delicious, really healthy. Uh, and uh, guys, stay tuned. Here it is, Bronx Pizza, a Bronx Pizza review. Not in the Bronx, but the name of the place is Bronx Pizza. The owner who owns Bronx Pizza in San Diego was originally from the Bronx. And so a lifelong New Yorker opens up a pizzeria in San Diego and takes over the damn city. And a lifelong New Yorker, Cali Kid, my brother, moves to San Diego and suddenly finds his favorite pizza. Has Cali Kid been in San Diego too long? Let's go find out. Here's the review. <laughs> do this pizza review in the car as it is uh, pretty windy outside as you can see the leaves blown in the wind palm trees blown in the wind whoa 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 wait a minute it's windy he's got to do the review in the car because it's windy it's 80 freaking three degrees outside what's a little wind gonna do blow the pizza away me over here, I was about to go do a freaking pizza review earlier today in the rainstorm. And he's worried about a little wind in 88 degree weather. Come on. As you can tell, we are not in New York. We are in front of the illustrious Bronx Pizza here in San Diego, California. So I added a little bit of that uh, Pecorino Romano on top. And, um, you know, give it that saltiness. So this just came out of the oven. It was uh, sitting there for a few minutes. So, uh, there you go. There's your fold. No New York flop. All right, bon appetit. Or as the Italians would say it, bon appetito. I think uh, bon appetit is more French, right? Solid on the carriage, you know. New York style. Here, listen for that crunch. So that's my cup holder. So yeah, there's a reason why the number one. I mean, it's it's everything you want in a New York slice. I mean, it's really just look, I mean, look at the sauce. The ratio, uh, sauce to uh, cheese ratio is on point. I don't know, I can't really focus it, there you go. But um, not only that, just the flavor. I mean, it's just, it's top notch, man. It's, it's as good as a quintessential New York slice is gonna get. All right, let's step into the lab. As you can see, it's, uh, it's a little glistening. A little glistening, you know, cheese slice. 
but um I mean as far as composition goes I mean that is quintessential New York right there this comes this is up to par with with Joe's I mean any New York slice I mean I like to compare it to Joe's because it is the quintessential I don't want to say this is up there with scars because scars is definitely a different type of New York slice it's a it's a little bit more artisanal but um same with best you know best is definitely more artisanal but uh yeah hands down this is gonna be the best cheese slice you are going to get in southern california uh tnt is right up there i think tnt is solid um if not maybe a little better um depending on you know if the slice came out crispy or you know you, you gotta get it you gotta get it right i've had it a few times where the undercarriage was a little burnt but at the end of the day I gotta give credit where credit's due. This is a solid 8-6, Bronx Pizza. Two slices and a soda for $7. I mean, can you go wrong? I mean, everyone talks about how expensive San Diego is and cash only. And then their calzones are fire too. So check it out, Bronx Pizza. San Diego, California, if you're here in the West Coast. Pizza Holics. Make sure you keep those bellies full, preferably with some good pizza. Salud. Did he just score out an 8-6? Look, I never had Bronx pizza. It looked ordinary. I know the other guy, I know the other guy, the guy from Boston likes the place very much. A lot of people seem to like that place very much. I've heard good things, a million videos on it on YouTube. It's like an institution out there, but put that on the California scale. That thing looked, uh, look, I've never had it. I've never had Bronx pizza. If you had it, let me know. Is that pizza overrated? He just gave it an 8.6. That's higher than Joe's, higher than Grimaldi's. All the reviews he did with me. We've, we've been to Grimaldi's, Joe's, Scar's, uh, uh, the other one, owned by Iacono's brother, Giuseppina's. And he scored Bronx pizza higher than all of those places. 8-6, you heard it from Cali Kid. Hey, he knows his pizza. He's had some good ones. Is he being biased? Is he trying to make me jealous? I don't know. But uh, let me know if you guys had it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Smash that like. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, until next time... Keep those bellies full, folks. In my case, some cheese, some scamorza, some sharp provolone, and some hot soppressata. This is Antonio, signing off. <laughs>